Work continues to ensure that the blueprint for developing and transforming Sufra holistically is complete. On Friday, the St. Lucia Social Development Fund presented the Member of Parliament for Sufra Francais Jacques, Honorable Emma Hippolyte, and the Sufra Regional Development Foundation with the completed Social Development Plan for Sufra. The Acting Deputy Director for Social Transformation with Responsibility for Community Development in the Ministry of Equity, Kendall Elva, says the document symbolizes the intention for all parties to continue working diligently to see holistic change and social development in Sufre. The plan is one which is intended to ensure social protection. And by this, I believe what we need to understand is that Every community is affected by several risk factors. Persons are negatively impacted by several vulnerabilities. And as it relates to social protection, it, it deals with identifying these risk factors and vulnerabilities and trying to mitigate the impact, trying to prevent these sorts of adverse conditions from negatively impacting the people of Sufre. The Member of Parliament for Souffre Francais Jacques, Honorable Emma Hippolyte, called on all stakeholders to ensure that the blueprint is used and not just shelved. Based on the response and what we get out of that survey, we are going to use this methodology across all constituencies. It's important to understand that because SSDF, you have Souffre now. And then you will have the responsibility to do this in the various constituencies so that we address the problems impacting our people. Because it's one thing for us to have um, progress and we see buildings and we see infrastructure and we do not understand the development of our people. The St. Lucia Development Fund representative, Brandon Antoine, says the SSDF worked diligently to put together the plan for the community of Soufre. At SSDF, we will continue to partner with you, with Soufre, with the Soufre Regional Development Foundation and the Soufre Constituency Council to ensure that this plan is implemented. Of course, we will be working with various stakeholders um, to ensure that we provide financing but other forms of support to, to achieve the objectives of this plan. The Sufra Regional Development Foundation was instrumental in the development of the Sufra Social Development Plan. Chairperson of the SRDF, Ernest Auger, says this blueprint is timely and convenient. I do applaud the effort by the Ministry of Equity in conducting this survey. Um, whatever is within the report, I'm sure, will be of significance. We have too many issues impacting us, and there is insufficient dialogue and insufficient communication and meeting of minds to deal with it. So the more we can embrace opportunities like that, the more we are headed in the right direction. The Sufra Social Development Plan is one of the steps to actualizing the Sufra 2040 initiative. From the Sufra Regional Development Foundation, I am Genevieve Gonzague.